talking about the gift, free gift from Jesus that we can use so that others will know about Jesus. Are you, are you, are you getting what I'm saying? Let me ask you this question. What do you think is your spiritual gift that you can use to serve and that the Holy Spirit can use it? for uh, witnessing and evangelizing. You know what's evangelizing, right? Telling them about the goodness of our salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. What is your... Can, can somebody be brave enough to share what's your spiritual gift for, for our class today? Okay, I got one. The gift of listening for you all. <laughs> You're gifted in listening, but some of you, at the appropriate time, you will speak, right? Oh, uh, okay. Anybody else who had a spiritual gift? How many of you here could say, I have a gift of healing? You know, when I pray, somebody's miraculously the Holy Spirit. I don't know. Do you have that? Maybe some of you here had the gift of discipling. That people follow you easily because you have the Holy Spirit, right? Right? That they want to be with you. That you are so um, a happy person. You're so your personality is so magnetic. Oh, I wish I had that. Your personality is is like they want to learn from you or follow you, and you follow Jesus. You have that gift. How many of you here have a gift to teach? How about a gift to preach? Wow. A gift to invite people, just like Andrew, to, 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 to follow Jesus. Nobody? A good host. Wow. It could be a good host. I pray that the Lord will help all of us here. <laughs> How about gift of singing? Okay, one, at least I saw one. Praise the Lord. I see one, two. You have a gift of singing? I didn't know that. In the bathroom. <laughs> okay, I ha now I will invite you to sing to the church. Sure. And she too, she has a gift of singing. <laughs> but it depends on who are listening to the, your gift. They might, oh, you have a gift a little bit. <laughs> Okay. How about the gift of um, giving? You're giving. You're generous. You have a gift. Oh boy. The opposite of that is the gift of greediness. <laughs> and that's not a gift. That's a gift from the from the enemy. <laughs> you know, if you're greedy, that's the opposite of giving. Right? What else? Oh, I know now. The gift of technology. You have the gift to to go to the sites that are evangelistic and you can share that link to people, right? Or the gift of Facebooking. You, you know how to, right? <laughs> how many of you here have the gift of Facebooking people so that they will know more about Jesus? Nobody, even Facebook. <laughs> You know what, we all need to go back to the basic Bible study that we So what is your gift? To warm the seats? <laughs> gift of being humble. Listening humble. Meaning to say, you just go there and show yourself. I'm humble. <laughs> Can you change that to talent? Because what you have a talent is to get Okay, talk, you know, singing, preaching, music, piano, cooking, cooking clarity, good host. good host, yeah, yeah, 
And if you have those gifts of being a good host, you are providing, see me. We need somebody to join us in our potluck crew. We need people to exercise their gift to serve others. That's who we are. We are supposed to... No, I'm sorry. We are to serve others because we love others. Amen? <laughs> you don't love others? <laughs> but that is what's supposed to be the Christian. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says, love one another. Your gift is because you love God and you love others. I cannot answer your question. You can go to the Bible to find the answers to your questions. Amen? Let's read our last verses. Uh, Acts, Acts 2, 14 to 47. Who would like to read? Okay. Uh, sir, could you like to read it? Acts 2, 40 to 47. Only 40 small verses. Acts 2, 40 to 47. Then we'll wrap up this. Okay. Would you like to read Acts 2, 40 to 47? Can you read it? Can you read it? 40 to 47. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, A beautiful Pentecostal experience of the church, the apostolic church. Isn't it beautiful if there are many people who come here and they will say and witness and say, you know what, your witness or your life lead me to follow and accept Jesus. And the Lord had favored and blessed this church that not only 3,000 but 30,000 are added into the, into the church. Would you like to say amen? That this church is filled up with people who are ready themselves for heaven. And that, oh boy, that will be a joy that all of us are, con are part and contributing to the growth of the church of Jesus Christ. Because we exercise our gifts so that others may know about the Lord. Amen? Did you, did you, did you, did you receive the word today? Amen. So do you have any questions? I'm done. My, my lecture is done. Do you have any questions or comments? What happens if you don't use your gift? What happens if you don't use your gift? If you don't use it, you lose it. You, if, you don't, if you don't practice singing, what happens? Your, your voice may not be as sharp or as, as uh, smooth as it should be. So if you don't use the gift, there are so many parables in the Gospels that tells you, if you don't use your gift, it will be given to others and you, you will be accountable. 
to the Lord in the judgment. All right. Any any more comments or questions? Can you get them back? No. Can you get different ones? Any more comments or questions before we pray? Can we all say God is good? God is good all the time. So the Lord continue to bless you as you use your gift, gifts today. Let's have a word. Uh, can we all um, have a word of prayer? Father, you have heard your voice through your scriptures, through us. I pray for the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts today. Continually reminding us, convicting us, reproving us, correcting us. To use our gifts for services so that people will come and receive you and that many will be added to the church. Bless your people today as we all worship you with one accord of love. In the name of Jesus, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Amen.